Pat Dudley was the former director of the Training Center of Finest City Improv for over five years. With over 10 years of experience in education and the arts, her dream is to help merge her love of postmodern experimental artois, right? And retired inspired theater with improvisation. Okay, I'm going with it. She completed graduate studies in theater at UC Santa Cruz, go banana slugs, with a focus on education and teaching performance in schools. She has studied at Second City LA, Second City, Chicago, Finest City Improv, Dosage, and will hop into any workshop she can get her hands on. Like us. <laughs> <laughs> her recent credits include, she's the founding member and organizer of the San Diego Improv Festival, instructor at Femme Provisor Fest, Northland Comedy Fest, Detroit Women of Comedy, San Francisco Comedy Fest, Hartford Comedy Festival, and Dual Fest. And she is the former CEO of the Improv Network. Everyone, please give a warm welcome to Kat. Yay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, yeah, appreciate you all uh, for letting me in, letting you bring this love of improvisation to your beautiful Rotary Club. So uh, just by a little show of hands, um, has anyone like seen an improv show, done an improv class, is maybe vaguely familiar with this concept of improv comedy? Yes. Okay, wonderful. So <laughs> hands up if, that, if you saw a show. Okay, cool, cool. And then like new hand if you like have taken a class before. Oh, 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 Dan, Frank. Okay, fantastic. Yes, yes. So um, what is neat about improv is that um, we are not going to even necessarily try to be comedians today. What we're gonna try and be is excellent listeners and giant supporters. Um, so improv, improv comedy, it sounds like most of us have had a little touch with it before. It's all about the idea that um, two or more people get on stage, they are inspired by anything at all and they create spontaneous amazement. <laughs> um, they build characters, they build scenes, they build the props. Uh, sometimes they sing and they dance while they do it too. That's called musical improv. I do it. It, don't twist my arm, I will show you. Uh, so what's really nice is that uh, improvisers at their core are just really good humans. So we're gonna just practice some of those skills today. And if you take nothing else away from this little uh, exercise and time together, is I would love for you to think about the concept of yes and. Uh, so in improv, to keep a scene going, we always try our best to accept what is going on. Maybe that's uh, information our scene partner says, maybe that's a movement, maybe that's a, the way our voice sounds. Uh, and then we say, and to that, we add something to it. So this idea of positive and excited agreement uh, means we can create wonderful things right away. Um, so my little workshop I'm going to lead you through today, I've got a few exercises. They're going to build from some warm-ups. We're going to end in some improv performances for each other. And the entire time, I want you to really be thinking, yes, and. Uh, so we're going to be agreeing and adding as much as we can. Um, so just for my knowledge and information, is Armando playing or is he in the room as like a technical No, he's playing. Um, <laughs> is it okay if we're on the same screen? I'm just curious if it. Yeah, no, that's that's totally fine because we'll we'll be popping on and off of mute. I just I, I saw him with a video off, so I want to get us tech wise all set up. So if he yes, however he wants to join in is perfect. Um, and I want to get us. I, I probably are you're already all technically cued into each other, but just in case you're not, um, do make sure that you are on the gallery view. That means that you can see everyone in the room, and um, we will be playing on and off of mute a little bit back and forth today. So you will hear me cue in uh, for when you need to uh, be off of mute or on. Um, and let's get this ding dong thing started. Uh, for us to get going today in our uh, in our play, we are going to warm up the tools of the improviser, which is namely your body and your voice. Um, but don't worry, I'm not going to push you into the deep end just yet. We will do this exercise on mute. Uh, so you will be able to get as loud and as funky as you want. And you will hear me uh, very shortly run out of breath and it'll be very exciting for all of us. So uh, how we are going to play this game is we have five key components to our body that we are going to warm up. They're going to be generally our right hand, right arm area our left hand, left arm area, right foot, right leg area, left foot, leg area, and sort of our general middle part. Um, if any of those options are not available for you today for any reason, um, just shake it like however you feel it. Our goal is just kind of tap into those five key components 
and put some voice behind it. Now, how it gets a little bit trickier and a little bit more into your improv mind is our hands, we are going to count upwards to shake them out. So it might look like this, one, two, three, four, five. Now our bottom half, we count down five, four, three, two, one. And then our midsection, we count in Espanol. Perhaps you do not know how to count to five in Espanol. Do not worry, you are on mute. I just wanna see you try it as much as you can and you'll pick it up as we go. We'll get to five for each one of those uh, spots. And then we'll do four, three, two, one. It's gonna get loud, it's gonna get crazy. Again, y'all are gonna be on mute. So if you mess it up, it does not matter. Our goal is let's get some energy going. Let's get some support watching each other move on screen. And then we will take this into our next exercise from there. So if you are not yet on mute, I encourage you to go ahead and press that mute button now, make sure that we are all ready to go. And we will begin with your gorgeous right arm, right hand, somehow in the air, beautiful. And we all go nice and fast, ready? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Uno, dos, tres, faster. One, two, one, two, two, one, two, one. Uno, dos. One, 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 one. Uno. Fantastic. Yes, yes, yes. Great. So <laughs> improv inherently teaches us to not take things so seriously, right? To tap into the joy of being a flailing arm person on a Zoom call uh, and just finding that joy of like, even if you got none of the numbers correct, you did it perfectly, wonderfully correct by just participating. So for that, I'm going to ask you, give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna continue this idea of um, you being perfectly wonderful, perfectly amazing as an improviser, just how you are. Uh, but I will keep you, uh, I will ask you now to jump off of mute. Um, but this one is going to be a little kooky because we're going to go do it all together. So we're not going to hear too much what each other are saying, but I want to feel that energy as if we were like all in the room, all supporting each other together. Now this exercise is called I can do anything good, yes? Uh, it becomes a real pain in the ass because when you're like having a bad day and then you play this game so much that your husband comes into the room and is like, "Cat, can you do anything good? I'm like, darn it, he's heard me do it too many times. So this is a great exercise if you have a bad day. It's also a great exercise to give you an opportunity to just feel good as you are right now. So in a moment, we're gonna all begin together and you will begin by saying, I'm blank and you're going to put your awesome first name in that blank spot then again all at the same time we're going to say one awesome thing about ourselves might be something like i'm an amazing dog mom and then we're all like, yeah Just cheer our heads off like steely dan is back in concert i'm a big steely dan fan y'all know it cool so we're going to applaud that first amazing fact then we're going to drop a second amazing fact about ourselves. Again, it can be anything who you are right now. We're going to then applaud that all the way out. And then we will do our third and final fact. And once we say all three things that promote how amazing we are as the individuals, we're going to say once more, I'm blank and I can do anything good. And then we're gonna cheer once more. Uh, why we do this exercise, right? So if I say improv is about yes and, it's not just about saying yes and to what your partner gives you. It's really about being able to say yes and to yourself, right? Getting out of that, being, um, being stuck or being questioning. Uh, improvisers make movement, they make choices. And so this yes and exercise and us just being like, I don't know who I am right now. <laughs> I got to fill in three blanks about myself. And we're going to promote that with a giant round of applause. So if you are not off mute yet, and you would like to join us for this one, uh, we will all join in off of mute. And we're going to uh, go ahead and start it with a big round of applause. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Can we all say together. Hi. 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 I do an amazing job being more financially fit. Oh, wait. Are we all saying at the same time? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I <laughs> all right. I got you. All right. I've been kicking butt at work today. This is awesome. I'm an amazing person. I can follow instructions. <laughs> <laughs> we all say that second 
second amazing fact about ourselves. I have. I got a lot of laundry done today. It was amazing. Amazing television watch. Yeah. I sometimes can follow directions. Okay. I'm a great. I'm 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 great. Uh, so I'm going to ask y'all, we've had a couple exercises that um, ideally should feel maybe slightly differently than how you operate in the normal world. Um, most of us aren't walking to the BART station like, I can do this! <laughs> maybe a little bit different than our, our normal day-to-day. -day. Um, so I'd love to hear, it, does anything become activated uh, or excited or interested when you um, kind of tap into a creative or playful mindset? Hmm. And they could be feeling words. They could be experience words. You could be like, I'm sweatier now than I was 30 <laughs> seconds ago. <laughs> Just anything that you're noticing in your improv journey. Uh, let's see. I don't know. I feel like I'm like very, now that like we moved around, it definitely feels like I'm a lot more active. So. <laughs> Yeah, just, just the idea of being like, I am more than just a face in a Zoom square, right? You're like tapping into like your playful side. Maybe you notice that like your right hand shakes a little bit sassier than your left hand. Or maybe you like really got into that midsection, right? Um, ideally, this is just inviting a little bit of creativity, a little bit of playfulness, um, mm -hmm. more so than just like, hello, I'm Kat, I do improv, right? I'm trying to tap into a different way that we can relate to each other. Um, so one more person shared what's maybe different about just um, saying nice things about yourself <laughs> or just shaking your body out, um, maybe a word that you felt or experienced in that time. It's fun and liberating. Oh, I love oh it. <laughs> liberating, right? Um, even though we totally like went off the rails, I, I told you all I'm trying to be more financially fit. Nobody was talking at the same time. I'm like, well, now I feel vulnerable because I've shared so much. <laughs> that liberation feels good, right? Like we got messy, we made mistakes. Nobody died. Everything was fine, right? Um, so improv teaches us the bolder the choice, the bigger we can be um, and not being afraid to make those mistakes. Um, we're going to get a lot more out of it. So again, that's that, still that yes and uh, mindset in play. Mm -hmm. um, so let's give ourselves another round of applause. We're amazing. We're doing it. Yes. You are all dedicating at least another hour of time to Zoom on a Tuesday night. And I feel like for that, you should be proud of yourself. So thank you so much for being here. Uh, let's go ahead now and give you all a little bit of a chance to truly improvise um, and really see this idea of the yes and mindset from your team to support you. Uh, so, oh my gosh, in this handy dandy chat area, I've put an upflow. Look at that. That's the order that we are going to go around the space in. Uh, I believe Lise may not actually just be curtains and shutters and she is a real person, but she's just not on screen. So we will go ahead and skip her for now unless she does come back in. Um, but what we'll do is we are going to just take a moment to say hi to your wonderful club, uh, but sort of in a, a, a thought of reintroducing yourself. Um, so what I mean by that is most of the time when we introduce ourselves to friends or we're saying hello, uh, we take a very like normal stance. Like, hi, my name is Kat and I do improv, right? Now in this exercise, what you're going to do is you are going to say your first name for us, but then you're going to do some like short, awesome, repeatable motion with your body while you say your first name. Your team in response, saying that yes and to you right away is going to uh, respond by doing your name and your motion right back to you. Um, so try not to overthink it, pre-plan it. Once it, it's getting around the space to you, you're like, ah, what should I do? I want you to try to just be in that moment of like, when that energy comes to you, you're just going to grab it and just, just perform a creative improv moment. Um, I will start and then it will go to Armando next, uh, but you will just see a little bit how this goes. So I might say something like, cat, 
And then the whole team, we all say, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> Armando, that's all you, my friend. Armando. <laughs> Armando. Armando. <laughs> nice. uh, William, I think that means you're it's up uh, to you. Uh, Will. Oh. <laughs> Will. <laughs> nice, nice. Oh, okay. Brandy. <laughs> Brandy. 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 Yes. Brad. <laughs> Brad. 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 Dan. Oh. Dan. 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 Frank. <laughs> Frank. 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 I like that. Jolene. Ooh. Jolene. Jolene. <laughs> Like leave this out of the room, so we'll we'll skip her for now. That means Ruben, you'll go ahead and wrap this uh, one up for us. I'll do my Pete Townsend. Ruben. Ooh. <laughs> Ruben. Ruben. I have enough space for that. Nice. Nice. muscle. I was worried about that one for us. <laughs> Up. Yeah, a little uh, ice pack if you need. Um, cool. How did that feel? I, I'd love to hear in its most simple uh, version or way that you can think of. How did you create or perform in that moment when that yellow Zoom square was over your face and everybody's eyes were on you? How did you do <laughs> your name in motion? I mean, I just felt sassy. So it just felt like that's the that was the vibe to go with. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just own it. Just yeah. own it. Yes. You you just felt something. You just did something. You did it with a little bit of conviction, right? Um, that's improv, right? Uh, there is no right answer. I'm so sorry to break it to you, especially in improv, right? It's a bunch of us just scrambling to try and make sense out of all the things that are happening in a moment, right? A lot like life. Uh, so we ask in these moments of like, how do you do it? And then we just come up with that simple answer of we just do it uh, to remind ourselves that there is power in just making a choice and just doing it. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to keep those same names. Now is not a great time to decide I'm Star Chaser. Uh, you're going to think person. <laughs> You're gonna uh, try and do your best to say the same kind of version of your movement, but uh, through the improv uh, Zoom magic, I'm going to sprinkle on to all of you a little bit of swagger, a little bit more confidence, a little bit more belief in yourself. So uh, <laughs> that was quick, Star Chaser. Man, that's really good. Uh, <laughs> Uh, now what you're going to do though, is you're going to make that same motion a little bit more like you meant to do this. It's the coolest thing you can be doing on a Tuesday night on a Zoom call. And it's gonna become a little bit more of a performance or a moment. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that it gets bigger, louder and crazier. Um, it could just be a little bit more intense, a little bit more purposeful. Um, so we'll do this once around the space and we'll just see how we can uh, use that yes and belief in ourselves. Um, so once again, I will start. And team, we know if we if the person yes ands big, we as the team want to support them big with the yes and. So these are going to all get bigger as we go as well. So I might begin with something like, "Can't." <laughs> okay, we can't. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic, <laughs> Armando. That's all you. Armando. <laughs> Armando. 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 Nice. Amazing. <laughs> Will! I forgot oh, your name. Will. <laughs> All right. Brandy. Ooh. Brandy. Brandy. Yeah. Yeah. Brad. <laughs> Brad. Brad. <laughs> Dan. Mm. Oh. Dan. 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 <laughs> wow. Frank. 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 
I have to remember what I did. Jolene. Ooh. Jolene. Okay. Jolene. Jolene. <laughs> yes. All right. I got to do one, huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I'm under a handicap because I just had a, a important phone call from family. So. Oh. Um, okay. <laughs> Lisa. 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 <laughs> I'll do Ruben. Ruben. So tell me now. It, it, again, I, I put some magical improv dust all over all of you. Hopefully, you felt that from afar, wherever we are. Um, but a little bit more confidence or swagger into what you did. And did it feel different to you that second time around? And it, it can either feel different in your own performances or now's a great time to be like, I love what so-and-so did to make theirs a little bit bigger or more confident. Um, what changed that second time around? Frank Blink. <laughs> <laughs> And, and in that blink, we knew everything, right? I, I was oh, like, man. Hey, it's a different moment. <laughs> yes. true. I definitely noticed <laughs> the confidence for Armando, too. I, I just think so different, like the conviction, right? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. We, we all get a little more comfortable once we see, see what everybody does, right? Especially if we're like one of those first people to go, we're like, is this going to be silly? What's everyone going to do? I mean, once that, that um, dial starts to move a little bit, we all see, okay, we can and go a little bit bigger or a little bit louder or just a little bit more purposeful. Um, and then we can all make those steps together, right? So improv is not about one person being like, I'm the big, loudest, funniest person in the room, come with me. Improv is about working with a team of people and be like, oh, and now we're here, and now we're here, and now we're here, right? It's like about finding that magic together. Some groups I've worked with, we do this game and everybody's like, I'm Marie. I'm, I'm dead, right? Do just like very tiny little motions. And it's like, cool, we, we work a little bit slower. Um, but I love that this group was like not afraid to like take their moment, feel it. Um, I, Brad became like the like cover of the romance novel, like Brad, right? Uh, they're kind of going in that. Um, I love that Jolene's like, uh, like I kind of like blinked the second. I, I'm like, Ooh, thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, so these are all Pointed. These are all feelings that you are experiencing that you're just trusting. Um, and then you're creating something out of that. I think it's magical and I've been doing it for 10 years, right? So <laughs> you're trying to notice, cool. I'm seeing a little bit of a different side of the people, or maybe like this totally makes sense. Like, of course, Dan is going to become star chaser. He loves a good zoom joke, right? We're like, oh, yeah, Dan, right? <laughs> um, I encourage you be who you are and experience that through this lens of like, hell yeah, I got this. I got that swagger. Um, so give your swagger filled selves another round of applause, please. We're doing it. Oh, yes. Great job, Lisa, coming in with, you know. <laughs> On the fly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your MVP right now. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I would love to ask, if at all possible, are we able to access breakout rooms? Yes. Yes? Okay, great. Fantastic. So we're going to um, give you an opportunity now to um, partner with someone. We're going to break you off into a room with just one person uh, other than yourself. So you're going to be in pairs. Um, we'll kind of make this work if there's like, uh, I, you know, I don't know how much Zoom technical things you can get in. I might play if we need to, uh, or I know Brandy and Armando are in the same room, so they might play together. We'll kind of figure out how we do this. But ideally, it will be you and one person in this breakout room for no longer than like a minute and a half, right? Just kind of get our wheels going in this. How we are going to play is one person is going to start by saying a truthful thing that the two of you might do together. Like if you were like, hey, we're gonna hang on this Zoom call for a little longer and uh, we're gonna make some fancy cocktails, right? Something very reasonable, something that you might actually do with this person that you're paired with. And their response line will be, yes, and, and they're gonna try and summate a little bit of what they heard. We're gonna make some fancy cocktails and I just got a brand new 40 year aged whiskey that we're gonna uh, put inside that old fashioned, right? So they're gonna say yes to that <laughs> offer. They're gonna add something to it with that and. And then it will be up to the two of you 
to see how big your idea can get. So when we come back into this main room after about a minute and a half, I wanna hear you be able to say, we started by staying on the Zoom call and making some fancy old fashions. And we ended by buying out the George Clooney tequila company. And now I am the starring man in the next Batman, right? I don't know, I wanna see with the power of yes and where you go. Now, before I let you off into the wilds of Create, I want you to be very careful and very cautious that you don't end up saying, yes, but. So if you hear a yes, but coming out of your mouth or coming out of your partner's mouth, you can like, ah, you can do like a little like moment of like Muppet madness. Um, and just try and remember that yes, but is kind of the cousin of yes and, right? It sounds like I'm agreeing and I'm actually not, right? Uh, we're going to make cocktails. Yeah, but uh, I'm not really thirsty and I need to go somewhere, right? I say yes, but I don't really mean it, right? So try your best to make your butts into ands and saying yes and. And uh, the goal to be the winners of this game is to go the biggest possible. I want to see where that big, giant, creative idea goes. So don't feel limited to, to anything. Yes and will take you there. Fantastico. By then, I believe uh, we're set to go for some breakout rooms. We will come back right around uh, 6.46 or so. So you'll have about 90 seconds. Yes, and is your friend. Go forth. And here we go. Ooh. 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 You did it. Fantastic. So uh, let's shout it out. One person from each pair, just like jump right in. Kind of where'd you start? What was one of the first offers? And where'd you go? I'd love to see what this yes, and led you to. Ruben? <laughs> you got to unmute. <laughs> <laughs> we started off with jogging, then it went to drinks, then it went to food, then it went to the new uh, pickle covered corn dogs at Disneyland that apparently, I don't know if you saw it on the internet. Um, yeah, exactly. Uh, and then it went to go to the beach and go to the museum. So it just went. We had a good time. <laughs> you need the, yes, you need the whole like going around tour. I love it. And pickled covered corn dogs, like disgusting, but amazing. I love it. Yes. <laughs> Another group, where'd you start? Where'd you end up? And? I, uh, that's me. So yes, uh, we started with uh, pizza and we uh, then invited everybody and uh, I turned it into a service project and we fed everybody and then turned it into deciding where a mural was gonna be painted. It was very Rotarian. <laughs> Well, but he left out that we um, we we decided to try to find out from the pizza shops how do we get their leftover pizzas to the homeless, and then right. ask the homeless <laughs> where they would like to see the next mural. I love it. That's amazing. You know, you were like, how do we really take this as an exercise for our club, right? We actually might need to do this, right? Uh, beautiful. I love that. It was actually Christ-like. Take one pizza and feed the masses. Yes. Yes. <laughs> true. True. Uh, another group. Where'd you start? Where'd you end up? Anything, anything goes. So where'd you go? Well, we should have, we should have uh, preceded those two because they went to a really good place. We didn't. <laughs> um, it started off getting on an airplane to Kenya where we had some uh, unusual Ethiopian food that we decided would be better if we went to Switzerland where chocolate was had that wound up drinking to Ireland and Guinness. And then there was some Jameson. Then it got really ugly. And both of us <laughs> woke up from a bad dream. And somehow porn was involved, but we it was nondescript porn, and we came home. <laughs> I'll just leave it there. It, wow. it was a little different than Lisa's and Dan's. Yeah, wow. he, he's skipping a lot oh, for good reason. <laughs> I I will. I'm gonna keep that in my back pocket, though. It was porn, but nondescript porn, and now I'm home. So you can't ask me <laughs> any more questions. I'm gonna use that when I go back out again. Yes, yes. Uh, Frank, Jolene, where'd you start? Where'd you go, my friend? So we started out um, uh, taking a walk around the lake, and then we decided to take our walk out uh, towards Alameda to the Oakland airport, where we got on a plane and went to New York City. And while we were, well, we were on our way to New York City, and we met Richard Branson on the airplane. So then when we got there, we got on 
Virgin Galactic and we went to the moon <laughs> where we met um, Barack and Michelle Obama on their way and Mr. Branson <laughs> came with us. And so then while we were up at the moon, we all decided um, to drink, A, eh? and then come back and come to Oakland and invite them to our next Rotary meeting. And it was the best Rotary meeting ever. <laughs> I love well, there it. you go. Like, oh my God, it's the best, the do good and the, the tie into the club, but also like moon time, right? Like it was like, that's sort of the best of both worlds. So, we met um, famous people, we went famous places. It was fabulous. Very <laughs> fabulous, wow. yes. Uh, so hopefully you noticed, right, even in just this little 90 second time that you spent with your scene mate, um, we got a lot further, whether it literally being like pizza that can feed all of those that need food or like going to the moon and meeting a president, right? <laughs> um, the power of yes and says, um, let's create, right? Let's be in this sort of uh, generous collaboration. Um, there are times in the real world where we have to say no, we have to say, oh yeah, but is that really gonna work, right? Um, but we say that yes and is truly a mindset, right? So you all just tapped into it for 90 seconds with a partner. Hopefully you've been tapping into it since we started. Um, but it's this idea that um, let's get into a place where like any idea goes. Any thought is good. Um, as long as I'm agreeing and adding, uh, I'm not, I can't get the answer wrong, right? Um, so I think ideally, um, when you're working with like maybe outside organizations or you're trying to get things going, uh, yes, and is a great way to like connect and build with people. And it doesn't get us stuck in that sort of like, no, nah, uh, uh, we have to get out all these details before we even reach that bigger thing. Um, so I have to give a shout out like Lisa and Dan, they took this exercise as both like a creative exercise and made it applicable to the work that you actually do, right? Um, so this is a great way to just remind yourselves, like maybe this is something you just kind of keep in your back pockets, like for a new service activity or a new organization you wanna work with, like put on 90 seconds of yes and thinking and just see what comes out of it. You might be surprised that out of 50 ideas, three or four kind of like, wow, that might actually really work. Um, so yes, the end is a mindset that we tap into to be creative and to, to perform improv. Um, so give yourselves one more little round of applause on that, please. Yes. We'd love to hear, how did it feel? Did you, did it feel natural to get into that yes and? Did you find any moments where you were like, yes, but, and you had to Muppet magic your way out of it? Um, <laughs> anything, anything at all in your breakout rooms that you discovered or felt uh, before we go into our final exercise? Mm. It was fun. Hey. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. I bet, I bet Will was a Muppet for a second, right? <laughs> I could totally see her. I bet Will made it the most outrageous thing it possibly could be. Right. You think that, but you'd be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. Um, Fantastic. So uh, we are going to do our final little exercise. I'm going to once more, just so it's at the, uh, the top of everyone's uh, chat flow, uh, drop our, our order. Oh, I'm so sorry. I forgot myself in that one. And I will actually be participating with you. So let me write the second one here. There we go. Um, so this is going to be uh, a moment where we truly tap into the group mind. And our, our shared focus or goal is to come up with some improvised words of wisdom. Um, I don't know if anyone likes like a Brene Brown kind of person, right? Where she, she always has these quotes that my friends are sharing on Instagram. They're like, laughter is the soul dancing, right? And we're like, yes, I love it, Brene, right? So we're going to be a little bit of an improvised Brene Brown. We are all going to contribute in that order, just one word at a time. Um, so the goal is uh, we don't want to try and throw each other off. We want to be supportive. We want these to sound like uh, wisdom is deep within us all, right? Uh, once we get to that beautiful place where we're like, how did we come up with this? For each one that we create, we're going to say, Brave Brown. We're going to give like a little quote line, right? So it really like taps into that, that moment, that thought that we share. We, we release it into its uh, perfection, whatever it is. And then we'll begin with another one. So hopefully we'll get like four or five of these little improvised proverbs out. Again, we are yes anding, we're listening. And um, as you are performing, since you are only just saying one word, try your best to really like pronounce it and say it for us so that we're not like 
was it tree or bee, right? I want to hear <laughs> tree. I want to, I really want to hear what words you're saying. Cool. Oh, uh, fantastic. So uh, I believe that means that uh, I won't go first. I will uh, actually kick it off. Do, do, do. Uh, Armando, does that mean uh, you don't mind kicking this off for us with any one word to begin? Health. Is. Best. Brad. Brad. <laughs> Sorry. Found. One more, one more time, Dan. Sorry, I didn't hear Brandy's. I kind of missed. How is best? Health is best found. Oh. How, health is best found among. <laughs> Bourbon. Ooh, <laughs> yes, that's our first one. She got a bit of a, of a good bourbon sponsor. Maybe Knob Creek gave her some money for that one. So how they best found amongst the bourbon. Yes. Uh, that means can we uh can we get to do, do uh Jolene, will you start our second one for us, please? Now that we know how it goes, we'll we'll get another one going. <laughs> uh, dreams. Transport. One self. Two. Outdoor. Fields. Oh, yes. Brother <laughs> Brown. Oh, oh my yes. God. Yes. That's it. That's the one. <laughs> one final one. Uh, Brandy, you'll kick this one off with the word improv, and we'll figure out what improv is actually really all, right. all about. All right. Improv creates occasional is that me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, go with Brandy. <laughs> <laughs> Breakthroughs. Brandy Brown. Nice. Well done. <laughs> Great job, Frank. <laughs> Frank knows how to end it, man. I love uh, that job every time. Then you, then you drop the mic, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Uh, it's a great, it's a great uh, read to see how our time went together. Sometimes improv is a waste of time. And you're like, okay, oh, <laughs> not a great one. Uh, but I love it. Improv occasionally creates uh, like breakthroughs. Yeah, maybe you're tapped into a little bit of different energy or different connection with your team. Maybe you just allowed yourself to be a little bit more silly or a little bit more fun in these moments. Uh, so that's what improv asks you to do. It asks you to say yes and to yourself and it asks you to say yes and to any situation you are in, including the one where the kooky improv clown comes into your rotary meeting and asks you to do a bunch of weird things. So uh, in that spirit, I would love to ask you all one final time to give yourselves a round of applause. Oh yeah. <laughs> Now you know all the secrets of comedy. You all are familiar with improv. This is how they do it. It's just a little bit of this at a time. And we uh, create it all to, to make some magical things. So um, that is my time. Uh, I would love to, to just let you all know, I, I do um, teach online at Berkeley Improv. So um, there are classes and ideally live theater will uh, once again return. So um, support the arts. That's what I always ask is if it's not me, just someone you know that's doing art, we love it and we love the support. So. Um, um, that that's it. Please do go forth and and yes and and improvise. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and <laughs> before we wrap up, Kat, thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate you taking the time to you know come and visit our our big little club. <laughs> um, Thank you uh, for taking the time to speak with us. We are donating some vaccines and polio vaccines in your name. Uh, if you don't know, Rotary has a mission to end polio. We're really close to that. Um, actually, 
I think, well, it was eradicated in Africa. And I think we recently started back up in Pakistan was the, I, yes, okay, Pakistan, but it's only in Afghanistan and Pakistan now. So your time means a lot to us. And we just want to show that, you know, we're going to pay it forward. Um, thank and, you, that's awesome. Thank yeah. you, thank you. Um, and we hope you can keep in touch with us. I mean, I'm really blown away with how interactive this was, you know, and I had a great time. So, you know, <laughs> I imagine some, some other people here did too. <laughs> Thank you so much. Nice to meet you all. Appreciate the plague.